Hi guys, it's me again, John Menesandra, and today I'm going to paint an overlooking view. It has um, some distant mountains, rivers, and fields. It's just like I'm standing in, in a very high mountain and looking on an overlooking uh, beautiful landscapes. And before that, I am going to introduce to you my materials. I have here my paint palette. Okay, so I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you observe guys that I am using um, a limited, limited colors in my palette. I have uh, three primary colors and two neutral colors so that I want you to learn how to mix and create your own desired color. And it's a great advantage guys. Okay, so and these are my brushes. Um, I have um, one inch flat brush number 7 flat brush number 4 flat brush number uh, number 1 flat brush uh, number 2 round brush and number 0 round brush for the very small details okay and I am using water as my medium and this is my canvas it's tall by 16 inches um, it's wrapped and on a plywood uh, it's being stapled and I made it myself and and it has prime with uh, in three cuts in gesso okay and I will be using um, a chalk for my preliminary sketch okay okay I'm going to start now with my sketch so I'll be adding a uh, a mountain here this will be a uh, very uh, the mountain that I'm going to um, at where I'm standing or the viewers okay and I'm going to put here I think the horizon here it should be straight guys you should use a, a roller okay okay and now I'm going to add a um, very uh, huge uh, distant mountain here it's just like a, a volcano but it's not really a volcano and it has a uh, lot of plenty of or plenty of uh, small distant mountains I am later I'm going to add a river here okay this will be a river also another mountain here lots of mountains and forest so and I'll be uh, adding a very huge tree here Okay. So it will be a very big tree covering the the overlooking view. Okay, so I'm going to start with my um color now. So I'm going to start with the with the sky first. I'm not going to add lots of clouds on the sky. And I'll be using uh, the one inch flat brush. Okay, so I'm going to use the white first. And with a little amount of blue. White again. Okay. And apply it directly. You should practice guys adding a small amount of paints on your palette so that you will um, 
you will conserve or it won't be wasted okay going to add more white another blue and white okay the the lower part guys should be lighter than the upper part of your sky so you should always remember that and maybe you should observe outside on your backyard so what will be the, the exact look on the sky so that you will know how to paint it okay and just blend it well okay and I'll be adding a uh, small amount of uh, clouds a small amount but few clouds okay okay Okay. Touch it. And now I'm going to add a distant mountain first. Here. It should be very light, guys. Because as you observe, um, the farther the object, it will become lighter and bluish. So I'm going to add blue first with the black so that it will be bluish gray. Okay, so I'm going to use the blue with a little amount of black. Careful when you mix, guys. You should, it should be a little amount of black and larger amount of blue. And larger amount of white to balance the color. So I've so observed, guys, it's become gray, but it's uh, more like a um, bluish gray. Okay. Okay, that's good. My more, more light. So you observe guys that the chalk will just absorb on the paint. Because when you uh, before I, I was using uh I was using um, paint to sketch and the uh, problem guys is that it will um, it will not uh, disappear with the with the paints so you will see it will be more visible so it's better to use the chalk Okay. Meet, meet the farther or farthest mountains very light, guys. Not so light, but um, it should be a little visible. Okay. And also here. Okay. going to add white to the horizon okay
okay there now I'm going to add darker um, bluish gray so I'm going to use the blue again with black small amount of black and white so I'm just mixing it to the existing color so it should be darker than the first one guys so according to the role of perspective the lighter uh, the, the farther the dark the lighter and the nearer the darker of course okay so here And guys, remember if the paint, uh, if the paint uh, feels hard, just dip the tip of, of your brush or the edge of your brush into the water to make it a little wet, so that it won't be hard to to apply it on canvas. The problem with the first timer guys or the newbie, um, he doesn't know how to adjust the the softness of the call of the paints so that's the technique guys just add water on it okay that's it and now we need to add um darker than this color so Let's mix an, let's mix another um blue is gray then blue black okay and white another black black okay so let's apply it directly so you observe guys that it's darker now than the previous one this is gonna be a huge mountain guys That's it. Okay, I'm mixing another bluish gray. Only a few. Okay, that's very dark. I'm going to add a little white. Okay, more white. Okay, more white. with I think more blue so ju you should practice mixing every day guys so that you will you'll learn the proper values of every color okay okay I think this is enough so I'm gonna cover everything here Okay. Mixing again. Another blue. This, guy, this time, guys. Uh, um, it's be well. It will be darker. 
like this one I'm adding a little water to make it um, fluid okay so this will just be the the background colors guys I will be adding uh, the details later I will be adding more blue Uh, more red black so it will be darker bluish gray okay Okay. Okay, I'm going to add more darker colors. This one is um, a little darker than the than the previous one. Okay. Going to retouch more. Okay. I'm just retouching guys some of the areas but the color is still the same okay so here it and I'll make some other areas uh, and to retouch it to make the color more solid because we're using a uh, student grade acrylic guys so the pigments are laser compared to uh, compared to artist grade acrylic like the, the heavy body so it will be uh so if you want guys you can use also the heavy body acrylics the b6 or liquid takes heavy body I'm sorry okay that's it and okay, okay. and then i'm going to add the uh, the green uh, mountain here that will be the nearest mountain from the observer's eye or observer's eyes okay now i'm going to mix green now for for this mountain okay so i mean i'll be still be using the blue with red I know yellow sorry and a little amount of red okay more more yellow and blue red and just apply it directly more black I'll be adding more black And, and yellow and red okay
okay more blue and yellow and red If, if it feels hard guys just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it wet as I as I always say okay Okay. Okay, that's it. This is just this is just the background colors, guys. So later, I'm going to add more details, and I will let it dry first for at least five minutes, and then I'm going to add the details. Okay. okay guys so I think the paint is already dry now so it's time now to add the details okay I will be using the number seven uh, flat brush and I'm going to start with this one this uh, huge mountain okay so I'll be adding a, um, a little greenish uh, details okay so I'll be using the blue now I think a little blue green so I'm gonna I'm going to add the small amount of yellow and blue so it will become uh, blue green and white okay more remember, remember guys that the uh, the the highlights should be lighter than the background of course because it's a highlights <laughs> okay it's a blue green guys it's blue and yellow with white okay so i think this one is good color so i'll be assuming that my light is coming from the left so the sun is on the left sides okay more white And also this one okay so I'll be adding the the river here okay so I think I'm going to add some more details So here Okay Again I'm going to mix a blue green 
so yellow and blue blue green guys is more blue than yellow okay then white I'm going to add a little green on this part, the nearest part. Okay. More, more blue green. So I'm going to make this part more lighter, or lighter, not more lighter. Okay, so this one. That's it. Okay. Also this one. Okay, so uh, first I'm going to maybe I'm going to add um, the river here first so that I have a guide. And I'll be using the number two round brush and white and with a little amount of blue. So just a, li a very lit uh, a little amount of blue, guys. Okay. More white. Okay, just follow what I'm doing, guys. So, this is the river. Okay. The nearer should be the bigger. Okay. Going to add some river, a uh, small uh, branch of river. I don't know what to call this one. Okay. I think that's a very nice river. This looks like a river. Okay. And I'll be adding also here the farthest part. It will be lighter and smaller. Okay. That's it. Okay, so going to add more details I'm going to make this part uh, more green and this part will be uh, 
queen okay probably darker green going to mix yellow more more blue and red more blue and white So just apply it every day guys, more blue. Okay. Okay, so just make this part uh, green because it's the nearest uh, from us or from the observer's eye. Okay. black we don't add more black okay also this one with a little just a little uh, green just thin amount of green guys okay now I'm going to add more highlights going to use the yellow and blue so it should be also blue green guys with more real white okay that's this one okay it doesn't matter guys if it's lighter or darker as long as the color range is there on the perfect or or okay this is okay okay also here highlights okay just make this part a lighter okay and also this one okay I think I'm going to add a little this one okay I'm going to add, add more blue to make it um, blue green Okay, you can use your hands guys to, to blend your fingers, I mean Okay This one, more retouch Okay Okay, I think that's very cool I think more uh, light color, so I just add white to make it more light Think here, we add over here. Okay, and also here. And here. Okay. Okay, and this part, guys, I'm going to add more yellow. 
so I'm going to just I'm just I'm just going to add a yellow on the existing colors on my palette and white more yellow Okay, this one is good. Right in the center of the river. Okay, and also here a small amount. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now I'm going to add forest on the on my um, I'm going to add more trees and forest and the other parts. Okay, so I'm gonna use the blue with a little yellow and black and white to make it lighter. Okay, so this one is nice. It's still blue green guys but with uh with a little amount of black. Okay, I'm going to add it here. This will be a forest guys or a group of trees. Okay. And also here. And also here. I'm going to add uh, a nearer. Okay. So here. Okay. okay and this part guys should be lighter lighter than the than the near uh, forest so you just add white to make it lighter and just apply it directly I'm going to add more blue Okay, just add blue, blue guys to make it a more um, bluish. Okay. Okay, so lighter. Okay, so just match it with your hand, fingers. So this part okay just one sheet okay and also this one okay just match it to control the bright bright brightness Okay, that's it. I'm going to add more. I'm going to add just add white on this part. Okay. Remember guys, also always remember this the idea guys that 
when the object becomes farther from from us it will become lighter and more bluish okay just like this this tree here compared to this tree this tree is lighter and more bluish than this tree okay that's the idea guys so always remember okay Okay, that's it. Okay, now I'm going to make this part more dark than the other, than the further one. Okay, I'm going to use blue, yellow, and black. Okay, so it should be much darker. Also here is one. Okay. Okay, that's it. And I'm going to add the highlights, of course. So just use the yellow with uh, with the blue. It should be a little bluish, uh, no blue green. It's a little blue green. Just uh, not too much, guys. Just small amount of uh, highlights. Using the number seven flat brush. Okay, more light. It's a uh, light, should be darker. Okay. Okay, and also. Okay. This one will be more green, so I'm going to add, uh, yeah, add yellow. So this one. So guys, remember this also. If the object becomes nearer, the the color will become sharper. Okay, so I'm going to add white and yellow. More yellow. Okay, so I'm going to add it here. Okay, so, so this one. This one. And I think I'm going to add fields, uh, like uh, brown fields. Uh, to do that, I'm just um, I'm just mixing the I'll just mix the the red and yellow to create orange or brown. So I will add a little black, more yellow. I uh, no, I'm sorry, not should should not be. Um, no blue should we should not mix our blue in it. Okay, so I'm going to add a little amount of white and just apply it directly here. Okay, that's it. Still using the number seven flat brush. So this one. Okay. So this one. And this one. Okay, that's it. So, don't overdo it, guys. Okay, it's I think that's okay for me. And I'm going to proceed on the on adding the de details on the nearest mountain. On this part. Okay. Now I'll be using the no one-inch flat brush. 
Okay. So, I'm going to use the black and yellow, of course. Uh, no, not black. Uh, I'm out of my mind. Uh, blue and um, red. Okay. And yellow and a little amount of white. Okay, so here. So it's a pouncing technique, guys. So you should uh, observe the angle of my brush. Okay, this is how you do it. Pounding, punching technique, guys, or uh, tapping technique. Okay, that's it. It will create um, grass like textures, like this one. Okay. And also, I'm going to add more yellow. And the same technique, guys, here. with white little amount of white okay so the nearer guys the near grasses should be bigger than the farther one Okay. More, more yellow and green. So the same technique again. Okay. Now I'm going to add more here, but lighter. So I'm going to use the yellow and white. You can use um, a fan brush, guys, if you have. I think fan brush is better than this one if you uh, if you know how to use it. Since the first day of practice, guys, I always use flat brush use uh, in creating this kind of uh, effect. Okay, so more brushes. Okay, that's it. We're almost done. <laughs> okay, that's it. So I'm going to add more details again, but lighter. So I'm going to add white and yellow, white and yellow. Okay. This time it's a uh, lighter.
Okay. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's it. And lastly, I'm going to add a tree here. It will be um, a little curve on this shape. Okay, so I will be using the number uh, four flat brush. Okay, so I'll be using the black. Uh, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to create a gray color tree. So black and white. With a little yellow. So black, white with a little yellow. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to plan. So it will be like this one. Okay. The three guys uh, is big enough. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to use darker color on this part so I'm going to add black on my color so with a little amount of white to add the branches okay so this one and I think I'm going to I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to add um, leaves on this um, tree You can use a smaller brush guys if you're not comfortable using this brush the okay I'm mixing again the gray this part a little bigger okay 
And of course, I'm going to add highlights on the tree. So I'll be using the pure white. Okay, just apply it directly, guys. On the left side. Using the number four flat brush. So, making it a little curve to create um, a curve um, direction guys circular motion circular movement to create this kind of effect You can also add um, leaves, guys, if you like, to this tree, so it will, it won't be um, lonely. Okay. And I'm I'm going to add more dark in the area or dark details so I'll be using the number zero run brush with black and white little amount of white and yellow okay and it's it looks like a birch tree i guess okay okay dark or dark here okay also here Yeah. And I think I'm going to like this tree now. Okay. And I think I'm going to add more branches. With the same color, guys. I'll just add more white.
more branches. more branches again guys you can add um, all leaves if you want to anyway it's your art if you if you modify it that's fine and that would be very good or very nice okay I think I am done okay that's it so guys if you want to follow this um, tutorial so you just follow what I did in the video and just have fun while painting don't force yourself too much and keep on practicing guys keep on doing it every day so that you will know on how to use your brush on, and also you will know how to mix the colors and always use the limited pal palette co of colors sh so that um, you will know how to mix or properly mix the desired color you want okay guys so again thank you very much for watching this video please hit like add some comment and subscribe for more videos in the future and visit my website www.gmlesona.com for more paintings or you wanna see if you wanna see my old works and I, again guys um, thank you very much and have a nice day